How do I know when I'm installing junk brake rotors? We have never discussed brake rotors on this channel before, so I think it's probably time to do that. So we're going to talk a little bit about rotors and which brands are great and which brands are pretty bad. And how to find good rotors even when you might be on a little bit of a budget when you're fixing up your 123 or 126 or 201 or even your 115. So going back to the 1960s when Mercedes started to convert all their cars to disc brakes, the idea of actually having to change a brake rotor was something totally new. Brake drums could be machined or they were smooth inside and not warped and often they lasted for hundreds of thousands of miles. Some of the rear drums which were you know made of very strong aluminum or cast iron were sometimes refinished. The front drums tended to be very strong and very thick and often did not need replacement. Now on other Mercedes uh, that got disc brakes early on, like the 111 and 112, the rotors were small and thick and they lasted for a long time. They were not vented rotors. The first Mercedes that had vented rotors was the 300 SEL 6.3. And then the prescient need became obvious when people would start to get cracks or hot spots or warpage in their rotors. Nevertheless, brake rotor warpage became pretty uncommon until the advent of the 116 chassis because of the way that the brakes were mounted. It's very rare to see warpage and vibration on brake calipers that are mounted at the front of the rotor, but it's more common, I've observed, to see it on brake calipers that are mounted, like the ones in the 123, in the back of the rotor. I wonder why this is. I'm still trying to figure it out. Now, oftentimes, on these twin piston caliper Mercedes, rotor warpage was not the reason for rotor replacement. It was the thickness limit of the rotor being reached. So if you have a Mercedes from this era and you pr develop pronounced lip in your brake rotor, you don't get to turn the rotor and cut the lip out. It's time to replace the rotor. They're thin enough to where they're not designed to be turned. Why is this? Well, because Mercedes likes to do things the right way. I think that turning rotors leaves a lot of room for error. They can get extremely hot, they can warp on the turning stand, and if the person who's working on them doesn't know what, they were, what they're doing, they can cause a lot of vibrations or, you know, even possibly a rotor fracture on a vented rotor that will lead to a major accident. Ask the person who knows. I saw that somebody had turned the rotors on my 280SE 4.5, they got to be too thin and they cracked. So, bye rotors. Um, they didn't crack immediately though. I found out that they were cracked the day I was planning on going on a long trip. Thankfully I had a set on the shelf. So here are all the good rotor brands in case you run into this problem. Balo made great rotors. ATE and Limforder made, keyword, made great rotors. Zimmerman makes great rotors. Um, a lot of the time you can go on eBay and find NOS rotors. There's nothing wrong with that. There are some brands though that I do try to avoid. One of those brands is Brimbo. Brimbo rotors for Mercedes are not very good. Opinions are split about the WBR World Pack brand of brake rotors. They're not my first choice, but I keep a set of um, of keep sets of some of these on the shelf because of an emergency. And to be totally fair. If you try to buy a set of 280SE 4.5 front rotors from Mercedes, they're like 245 each. And if you buy them through WBR, they're like 30 bucks. Do you give it a shot? Maybe? Who knows? I still wouldn't, but I'm just saying, like if you're really out of options and that's your only option and the rotors you need are a week away in Germany or one day away in World Pack, maybe. And from what I understand, they're made in Italy, so Thank you, China Pack, for not totally living up to your, you know, derogatory nickname. So, 
What do you do now if you can't find Limforder, ATE, Zimmerman rotors? Well, you can always order your rotors from Mercedes, and this is my preferred option, especially on certain cars like the 500 SL um, slash uh, R129 or 560 SL R107. These cars have such powerful brakes that there is no room for error. And I've learned that the Mercedes rotors stand high above, you know, way above all of the other brands of rotor. Uh, I've put rotors on 560 SLs before. I get a call a day later. My brakes are vibrating when I slam on them at 55 miles an hour. Well, I shouldn't have put crap rotors on, should I? Um, and in that case, I go to Mercedes. Now, the rotors on a 560 SL are the same front rotors as a 300E. So that rotor has to work pretty hard with the 560 SL. It's not a bad rotor design. We don't have to change them all the time. But they do get thin pretty fast because of four piston calipers in front. One last thing about rotors that you guys should probably know. I don't like to buy any off-brand like a Duralast rotor or something from Advance Auto Parts or um, who knows, a Monroe rotor or something from Just Brakes. When it comes to extremely cheap bottom of the barrel rotors, you never know what you're going to get. And brake rotors don't just arrest brake vibrations, they have to stay together and not crack under high heat, hard braking conditions. If you have a Mercedes that has a heavy front end, like a 300D Turbo mm -hmm. or a 560 SL, again, you can't cut corners here. I hope you guys enjoyed these little tidbits of wisdom about brake rotors. Again, new old stock parts are always a good way to go if you can find them. I would really appreciate it if you're watching this channel and you haven't subscribed yet. If you do subscribe, I would also um, like some like a little bit of leeway until November 10th when I get back from Mercedes Freude because I'm not going to be able to check comments as much. But you guys can always email me, and if you're a Patreon member, you can always call me or send me a text message. I mean, if you really need help and you're not a Patreon member, I'm always here to help you. But sometimes it's going to take me a few days to get back to you, so if it's an emergency, you know, just you know, let me know. So. Anyway, um, take good care of your Mercedes and your braking system. Like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications. And use high-quality brake rotors. Excellent.